So I was just about to import some words from uh, my Rikai Chan saved words into my Anki. And uh, I was just thinking, you know, I should probably make a video to teach other people how to do this because I'm pretty sure it's an overlooked function that Rikai Chan has that is extraordinarily useful but is really underused. So if you don't know what Rikai Chan is, it's a Japanese to English dictionary um, that you can simply turn on. It's an add on for Firefox and I believe for Chrome now too, but Chrome doesn't have all the functionalities of uh, Firefox. So you can use this, this add-on dictionary and it uh, gives you pop-ups. You just mouse over the word that you don't know and it gives you pop-ups for the definition. And this uses the Jim Breen or JDIC uh, dictionary that is uh, quite commonly used on the internet now. Um, so one thing that it can do though is it can, for example, if I didn't know this word, I can just press S. Oh, now I've done screwed it up. Okay, just press S and it uh, saves this word to a text file that I can actually use to import into Anki. So as I'm reading this, and I don't know that word either, and uh, I can just save all these words. Okay, I knew that one. Um, but, um, yeah, and I'll never forget them again because I can import them all into Anki. So how do we go about how do we go about doing this? Well, first of all, we have to look at our add-ons, and I might note at the same time this is exactly the same for uh, Cantofish, so you can save Cantonese definitions. But uh, first, I'll I'll go and show you the Rikachan version. So if you look at the preferences and the clipboard and save tab, um, if you set your line ending to the correct one, so I'm on a Mac right now. You should set to whatever you have, um, and field separated to tab, and your file name to this file name or wherever you want to save your text file to .txt, and you set your encoding to UTF-8 and your entries to one. This is important; otherwise, you'll get multiple entries. And you can set the and make sure you also set the kanji to zero. Otherwise, you're going to get a lot of garbage into your file. So if we just click OK and that should do it. So let's go take a look at the Cantofish settings. I don't know if I have this set up actually. So I don't, I haven't started my ISC. There's no file name right now. Um, but it's basically the same, except this should be zero hanji, hanzi. Um, maximum to save, it should be just one. File format should be Mac and field tab. Field separator should be tab. And then if I just type in a file name here, now every time I use Cantofish and I press S, it'll save the definition that I'm currently looking at. And then I can import it to my Anki and I can study Cantonese or Japanese or whatever. So let's try it out. So I showed you earlier that I just saved these words by mousing over and pressing S. So where do they go? Uh, let's take a look at my documents here, the Rikai Chan word text file. So you can see I have a whole bunch of words already saved here. Oh. Um, and if we look at here, you can see it saved the word. So an important thing to notice here is that um, there are three fields separated by tabs. So this is your expression, this is the reading, this is the meaning um, or definition. Uh, if you had saved, for example, a katakana word or a hiragana word, that will screw it up. And why does it happen? And how do we, can we get it around this? Um, and how does it screw up? Well, for example, let's okay. Let's save this word here. Okay, that's Darvish. But for example, dull. Um, press S to save. So it's saved. Now let's take a look at our file again. Okay. Well, it only saved daru and the definition. There's no reading. So later on when you're trying to import it, it'll ask you for three fields and then it'll come and look at this and say, hey, there's only two fields. And then it'll crash on this this entry. Well, it won't crash. It'll just skip it actually. It'll give you a warning and skip it. So it's not the end of the world, but it is kind of annoying if you're trying to remember here kind of words. So how do we save this? Or to prevent this, what we do is we copy that go over the tab, paste it, press tab again, and then save the text file. Done. 
So that's how we would fix the problem. Quite easy, but you have to um, look through your file, make sure that you haven't, you know, done this for something else. Otherwise, it will skip that entry. So, I don't actually care about Dutter, so let's delete that and, get, and delete it all the way back to here to make sure that um, the next time it starts, it starts on a new line. So save that again. Now quit. Take a look at my Anki. So how do we import this? Well, press File, Import. This might be a little bit different on the Windows version, but I think you can figure it out. Uh, click on my file. It will try to guess what kind of uh, delimiter we're using. So press open. It's already detected that we're using tab. This is correct. It might guess that you're using semicolon, which is wrong. So if you use semicolon, what will happen? Um, well, I don't think you really care, but you see these are separated by semicolons too. So that's going to totally screw up things because it's going to put a semicolon here, it's going to put a semicolon here, and then it's going to read through here and then see more semicolons and think that these are other definitions or something else and it's just going to not work. So let's take a look at this. So the first one was the expression. That was right. Second one is meaning. Okay, that's wrong. So if you remember from the text file, the second one is supposed to be the reading. So change that. So now that's that's been moved so that can't have reading twice. So then the third one is supposed to be meaning. Okay, so now that's right. So what you can also do is you can select to make the English to Japan or sorry, Japanese to English cards and English to Japanese cards at the same time, which is also handy. But be careful if you change some things here around here, sometimes this will reset. So you gotta be careful that you're importing it in the right way. So let's uh, hit import and see what happens. Okay, so we imported 102 facts, but uh, there's a bunch of du duplicates. So I've already apparently added these words before, and that's fine. Good, because it doesn't import them twice. So let's take a look. Okay, scroll down to the bottom. And yeah, so the word that we imported earlier is there. So it's there in from Japanese to English, and English to Japanese. So yeah, so now when you're reading websites, instead of just looking at the definition and looking at the definition every time you see the word, you can now memorize the definition and then, you know, as you go through the website, you learn more and more words and your Japanese vocabulary improves more and more and pretty soon you don't even really need Rikachan. So, hope that was useful and hope many people make more use of this incredibly awesome feature. Alright, thanks.